Christina, just you wait. You'll see how loud it sounds when he lets loose. Oh, he looks so scruffy. Doesn't he? I think he's going to roar for us, Christina. I have faith. And then you'll have a chance to hear it. Since this is a recently discovered fact, or at least recent for me, a lion's roar is 110 or so decibels at one meter. He's walking very stiffly. What have you smelled, boy? What's here? He's smelling something here. I wonder what it is. It could be scent markings of another lion. They often scent mark on quarry bushes, and the smell might linger for a nose as sensitive as his. It could also be a leopard marking. I don't want to reposition just yet. I have a feeling he's going to come walk past us. Oh, Fleming Grimace behind the bush. That wonderful snarly face that animals pull when they are... Yes, I, I noticed. I'm sorry. I don't want to start up the engine now, though, because he's just going to move away if I do. He's very, very close. There we go. There we go. The partial Fleming Grimace. So that is him tasting the smell, essentially. Here we go. vibrating in your chest when they call like that. I'm sorry he's behind a tree, but if I'd started up my engine there, it kind of would have ruined it. So we had to take what we got there. actually quite a resolute finishing of that particular call. There you go. He did call one more time for us. Tristan, I was about to smack you. <laughs> I thought we were going to miss it. But it's okay. It's okay. We made it just in time. And yeah, you didn't miss much at all. Just the warm-up bit. How's that? What's that? Three now. Mm -hmm. Three proper roars that we've had. It's the wonderful thing about this weather. And winter, actually. Now, safari is going late into the darkness. We've got a far better chance of seeing the lions up and about, or at least down and roaring.